Call 888-9-TCM-SHOP. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks again for joining us for our Summer Under the Stars Festival. Today has been all about one of the most influential of all film actors who've ever flickered before our eyes, Marlon Brando. And next we have the film that initially put Marlon Brando on the map as a movie star and a future icon. It's a streetcar named Desire from Warner Brothers in 1951, based on a play which had catapulted Brando to stardom on the Broadway stage four years earlier. This was only the second movie Brando had made, and in many ways, it was in this film that he changed the whole style of acting in movies from this point on. The movie was directed by Elia Kazan, who'd also directed Brando in the original stage version. Two of Brando's teammates, Carl Malden and Kim Hunter, had also been with them in the Broadway version of the play. The film also stars Vivian Lee, who played her role in the first London stage production of A Streetcar which had been directed by her husband, Laurence Olivier. This was a triumphant return to Hollywood for Vivian Lee, and she's remarkable in the film, as is Brando. From the moment he makes his first appearance, it's like a punch to the jaw. He's magnetic, he's dangerous, he's unpredictable, and certainly fascinating. Those qualities remained a strong part of his appeal for the rest of his career. But just try to imagine the impact he had in 1951 on audiences who'd never seen that kind of an actor or that kind of naturalistic acting in a movie before. Everything about this film reeks of great talent at work, including Harry Stradling's magnificent black and white cinematography and Alex North's haunting and sensual music score. So from 1951, here's our star of the day, Marlon Brando, at age 26, among a great and talented cast in a streetcar named Desire. 